Oh man, so at the beginning of the year, former MMA fighter turned food critic Keith Lee announced that he was going to visit the Bay Area on his popular family food tour. And from that moment, Bay Area locals started to give out instructions to their people. And I knew that this trip was going to be on some wild ish. So check this out right here, man. Like this is the type of stuff I was saying. Like homie put out this list saying, number one, I hope y'all don't embarrass us. Number two, don't bip him. He can change somebody's life with one post. Number three, tag some good spots number four do not bib number five he trying to show us love y'all so show him some love so the homie had to put don't bip on that thing twice and if you don't know what bip mean that means robbing somebody car type shit and this was one of the funniest tweets chick saying do the people who bip use twitter how are we gonna get this message out everybody spread the word to all your little badass cousins but keith lee came to the city and that led to tweets like this this person saying keith lee came to the bay didn't try not one taco spot or agent spot called at gotham city and left <laughs> all right lmao so if you're wondering what Keith Lee had to say, listen to him speak right here. Unfortunately, the Bay Area stop on the Keith Lee and family food tour is officially over prematurely, and we're going to get straight into it. Let's talk about it. There are a few reasons why, as a family, we decided to end the food tour short. But before I get to that, I truly want to say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate every single bit of love. The people of the Bay were absolutely amazing, and I'll never forget the hospitality and the love that y'all showed me. Reason number one, I truly don't believe the Bay is a place for tourists right now, and that's what I was, a tourist. The people in the Bay are just focused on surviving. That's the business owners, the locals, the amount of tents and living structures and burnt up cars that we saw people living in was shocking to say the least. Before we went, people was comparing it to Gotham City. Now, I might not agree, but I understand where it's coming from. But I can't harp on it enough that the people are amazing. It's just an environment. And as an outsider, I wish the city would step in. I don't know if they have. I don't know if they've been trying. But just from outside looking in, it don't seem like it was much city interference. Reason number two, and this is in no particular order. We went to a lot of restaurants, popular restaurants, not popular restaurants, mom and pop shops. And this is the first city where I have over six videos that I don't feel comfortable with posting because nothing about my experience was constructive and nothing that I said was constructive. I've always been big on honesty. I've always been big on transparency, but I've never been big on completely tearing down anybody. And I feel like those six videos only doing that. And I've always said, I'm absolutely blessed to do this but it does take a lot of money it does take a lot of resources to do at the moment everything comes out of pocket so when we had that many restaurants that we couldn't do anything with that was just another deciding factor number three and probably the most important i had to go to the hospital because i had an allergic reaction to one of the meals i had this restaurant in particular cooked a plethora of meats including shellfish my family specifically asked if they cooked it on the same grill they said yes but they would clean it the second i ate it i blew up like a balloon i had to get some steroids and some allergy medicine and it cleared right up but it was a health concern nonetheless and that was another reason why we decided to go home i also think the bay wasn't the target audience for what it is that we do 90 percent of restaurants that the locals said had great food was already booming and the people from the bay are a loyal community so if your food is good the line gonna be out the door already and then again we went to some of those restaurants and i wasn't a huge fan and even if i did like all of the food at the busy spots that's never been my mo to just go to busy spots so those are the reasons why we decided to cut it short but nonetheless some amazing things did happen while we were there chef greens was one of the restaurants that i went to and he had a new segment the day after we left God is amazing. Mama T's also joined that category with a new segment the day after we left. God is amazing. And one of the places that we went that I didn't get a chance to post was the highlight of our trip. The name of it was Luxurious Cuisines. The customer service was absolutely amazing. And the food wasn't too far off of that. We went in as a family and we left for a $2,000 tip. So the trip itself wasn't all in vain. And again, I appreciate every single person that I met. I want to stress, it is not normal for us to go to restaurants, not like it, and not post it. Any other time we ran into the situation, I've always had some kind of constructiveness to say. This was just different. And again, I'm always going to be transparent. I'm always going to be honest. Thank you again to everybody in the Bay Area. We'll be headed to the next spot soon. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. All right. So the reaction to that thing was crazy. This person says, hey, Keith Lee, how was Oakland? I almost died. Hell no. Nah. So this person shared the screenshot saying this right here, man. I'm really cutting the funk up, OMG. Why the fuck y'all try to kill that man, dog? The person says, um, I told y'all to bip him. These niggas tried to kill him. Why the funk the bait almost killed Keith Lee? Who did it? Chef Smelly. Homie says, nigga, Keith Lee came to the bay and got wings from a gentrifier burger joint, chicken tacos from a black man, and, a, and surprised by grease in a fried fish sandwich. No Mexican or Asian spots. How? and didn't even leave Oakland. LMAO, that is not a Bay Area food tour, my boy. All right. This person says, embarrassed for the Bay at the how we did Keith Lee. Come on. Someone responds saying he got bad advice. Bay ain't do him wrong. That's on him. Homie says that man really called us dirty and broke and left. OMG. Keith Lee did some real ish by not posting those other locations he went to. That goes to show he really fought with the people out here. But where the funk did he go? 
And homie says, Keith Lee a good dude, because a motherfucker like me gonna let y'all know who almost killed me and letting their business go to hell. But this guy says, I fought with Keith Lee, but I think him cutting early reflects more on him than us. Sounds like bro buy into the doom loop narrative and psyched himself out or was doing anything with not a lot of help. That's San Fran Burger spot. Now I'm gonna let y'all hear from Keith Lee himself speak on the whole situation. My statements about our experience in the Bay Area have been misconstrued, so let's talk about it. I got this mask on because my allergies are still flared up. Number one, we didn't leave because of violence. Not at one point did we feel threatened or scared. We didn't get ran out of nowhere. I gave a list of reasons of why we left early, and one of those reasons is because I said I don't believe the Bay is fit for tourists at the moment. And I said that specifically based on the spots that we had went to and the areas that we were in. I don't think any of the spots that we personally went to were conducive of a five to six hour wait time, especially with people coming directly off the plane. And when I say people, I mean tourists. I don't think they were conducive of coming straight off the plane and going away into these lines. As a tourist, I wouldn't wait outside three or four hours in any of those areas. Not to say people don't or people shouldn't. I just said my personal opinion, it didn't seem conducive. And I believe that message is synonymous with the locals because before we went, a lot of people were stressing the conditions of the Bay at the moment. News articles, locals, people that I spoke to on a daily basis. Number two, we went to a lot of cities. We didn't just go to Oakland and San Francisco. We went to six or seven different cities. I didn't name those specific cities because there's only a few restaurants that were recommended from those cities. And if I named the specific city, people would be able to figure out what restaurant I went to and didn't enjoy the food and they would go bully those specific restaurants, even off of just guessing. So I didn't want to put random restaurants at risk of being bullied and get negative reviews from people who've never been to that restaurant. But yeah, we went to other spots that wasn't Oakland, wasn't San Francisco. We went to the Bay. We went to trucks. We went to brick and mortars. We went to Michelin star restaurants. We went to a lot of places. And I personally wasn't a fan of a lot of places that we went to. And I said in a previous video, it was to a point where I wasn't constructive. Now, if I don't like the food or if I don't like the customer service or I don't like the experience and I can still be constructive, I will be. And I've always been that. I've always been transparent with that, but this is the first time where I feel like I didn't have that, so I didn't do it. Number three, I'm not a food influencer or a content creator. I'm Keith. A lot of people are applying that I don't do enough research or I should have a food tour guide when I go to these cities. I'm a normal person and our food tour has been guided for normal people. It hasn't been guided for people who can reach out to the number one food influencer in each city or a celebrity in each city that could be a personal tour guide for them. I want you, my mom, my family, and whoever else don't got 15 million followers to have a good experience in these places. And I'm not going to tell you I'm having an amazing experience only based on the perks that I get with having 15 million followers. But I want to be very clear. I'm not saying I'm not tapped in or I don't do my research and watch the biggest food influencers of each city. I do. I do a lot of research. I watch a lot of videos. And as of late with the last two stops, it just so happened that I have reached out to some people. But these are people that I genuinely respect and what i actually want to be in real life can i improve absolutely is there more research to be done absolutely but do i feel like i should have to have a tour guide or the biggest celebrity or the biggest food influencer of each city to have an enjoyable time no this is the last point that i'll touch on right now we are in the research stage of doing a food tour we are in the very beginning of the food tour it literally just started six months ago we are using this time to polish it and refine what it is that we do so if we are blessed enough to have a tv show we can know what works for us and what don't work for us so that way when we do go to these networks we are solid in our foundation so i can still authentically be myself just on a bigger platform and past all of that i always say i'm a festival guy i truly believe i'm doing what i'm supposed to do and if you disagree with me and you don't like me i fully get that and i'm not mad at you i'm really not again the people in the bay were amazing i'm gonna say it again it's unfortunate that my allergies flared up but i never once looked at the entire trip to the bay as a fail or a disappointment and i would appreciate if these blogs and these media would stop saying i did god bless you have an amazing day i'll be safe now after seeing Keith speak, some people had some better responses, like this person right here saying Keith still recovering and had to hop on TikTok to explain infrastructure, homelessness, and tourism affect each other. Y'all don't deserve him. Homie says, keep lead. The people in the Bay Area are just focused on surviving. The amount of tents and the burnt up cars that we saw people living in was shocking to say the least. And some of y'all are focused on the food when Lee was focused on the effects of, of structural inequality. All right. This person says, keep Lee abandoning his Bay tour because California's housing crisis is so depressing. Might be the exact spotlight we need for major change because that man had the Atlanta City Council meeting and that was just over poor service now this person said why keith lee said what he said y'all really want to know what keith lee saw when he came to oakland
money and your time. This is not a place for the tourism. This is a place to survive in a lot of crime. Okay, so my quick thoughts on the situation, man. What I fear for Keith Lee is strictly business and content-wise. Um, I believe it's only so long that he's going to be able to continue his normal and organic operation. For a more efficient business model, there's going to have to be some tweaks, like some tweaks. Or he leaves himself vulnerable to more wasted trips in the future, man. Um, I hope he can figure it out because despite all the salacious banter, he really saves a lot of folks' business with his platform. And we got to keep this man on the road just because of that alone, man. To end on a high note, here are clips from the places that Keith did happen to visit. Check it out, man. This is one of the most highly requested places in Oakland. Not only from the locals, but from one of the most respected food reviewers here in the Bay. I got it, let's try it, and rate it one to 10. We spent $27. The name of this place is Chef Greens, and we in a hood. He got a tent set up under a bridge. You can hear a train going over my head as we speak. The customer service was great. He only served three things, shrimp tacos, steak tacos, and chicken tacos. I'm allergic to shellfish. So my family asked, can he make the other meat separate from the shellfish? He said, I'll clean this whole grill right now. And he had no idea it was us. I'm gonna show you anything I got, and we gonna try it, and rate it one to 10. A steak taco and a chicken taco. Now, as mentioned, a shrimp taco. I'm gonna have my wife try this because again, I'm allergic. This is the chicken taco. I'm a little afraid. This is like crab. No, this chicken. It's dripping. And when I say dripping, I mean from both ends. Green salsa. Mm. Okay. <laughs> it's seasoned. That's almost seasoned to perfection if you ask me. The only thing I don't like is that the grease flavor is really heavy for me. But the flavor is there. It's for sure there. And it's all in my hands. The cheese that they grilled on the outside, I really appreciate that. It gave a real crispy, nutty, cheesy kind of flavor. That one bite was a lot. I turned the camera off and chewed it. It took me like 40 seconds just for that one bite. The plus size is the flavor is really good. It's a lot of chicken. It's a lot of cheese. The downside for me, it's pretty greasy. With that being said, I'm gonna still give it a pretty high rating. 7.9 out of 10, almost at an eight. Very close to being an eight. Especially for that to be made out of a tent. It's the steak. Again, very seasoned, very cheesy. And when I say very cheesy, I mean, like, look at my hand, bro. Man, man. I'll eat half of that and be filled for the whole day. As mentioned, my wife wants to have the shit taco. Yo, that was pretty. Thank you. Right here. It was really cheesy. Mm-hmm. 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 It's really good. The shrimp is fresh. I give it an 8 out of 10. We around in the same area. Yeah. yeah but like you said, about. it's super fulfilling. All right, this one taco, I'll be done. Go. <laughs> she said she getting sleepy. <laughs> One thing I will keep in mind, he in a tent. So if you do go, please be patient because it took us about 40 minutes to get this food. Overall, I appreciate the recommendations. At the Chef Greens, I pray and hope after this, you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe. Before we left, we went to go talk to Chef and we tipped him $500. I also met Bay Area Foods and we chopped it up for a little bit. God is amazing. Seeing the product that he's able to push out in the environment that he's cooking in made me extremely impressed. He in a tent, y'all, and he cooking and he pushing it out. Chef Green is one of those people that remind me of why I do what I do. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be Safe. My family are in Oakland, California, and this is one of the most highly recommended spots. It's called Mama T's. Listen, here go a list of places in no particular order that I love and I think that you should try. Mama T's. Mama T's, yes, because obviously. I got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. We spent $35.65. We pulled up at 2.30. We tried to call the order. No answer. So my family walked in and do a takeout order. The lady, her name is Mama T. She was working. She was extremely nice. But when my family tried to put the order in, she said that she was going on a 30 minute break. So at 315, the order should be ready. It is 322, we just got the order. So we've been waiting close to an hour and it closed at four o'clock. I'm gonna show you everything I got and we're gonna try it and rate it one through 10. A grilled chicken sandwich, homemade potato salad. And this is what they know for, the famous fish sandwich. Last but not least, seasoned fries. What I've learned about the bay is that these hours vary. Sunday, Monday, closed. Tuesday, Wednesday, open, but from four to six. Thursday, Friday, open from 2 to 4. Take a break at 3.30. And it's like that. Damn it, everywhere we go so far. Mama T said she made everything. All right, we're going to start with the fish sandwich. I heard this is the best fish sandwich in the bay. It looks like ketchup, tomatoes, lettuce, mayo, butter on the bun. I also heard it say it was made with tilapia. It's made with tilapia? I thought it was catfish, but they said fish. They just said fried fish sandwich, so. In my opinion, it's not bad, but this crust is extremely thick compared to the amount of meat that you get. 
So I feel like I'm getting all crust and I can taste the grease in the crust. I'm not a huge fan of that. The flavor is there and it's pretty spicy. It's way more spicy than I thought it would be. I got more meat in this little pocket here. For me, again, only downfall is that I can taste the grease. In my personal opinion, 7.5 out of 10. These are seasoned fries. They are seasoned. I say that, I can just look at it and tell. The fries, in my opinion, are freezer fries, but they are seasoned. I give them that. So yesterday, I got a freezer fries at three. These, I give a five out of 10 because I do appreciate the extra seasonings. Next up, the chicken sandwich. It looks like it's barbecue sauce, chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, and a butter bun. That's a lot of chicken, I'll say that. It's juicy too. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, sweet, tangy barbecue sauce. Yeah, everything on this is pretty high quality. This chicken juicy too. I say juicy. It's dripping. But this is to be grilled chicken in between two pieces of bread. This is really good in my opinion. 8.5 out of 10. Good thing you did it's, probably get it grilled versus fried. It's very simple. It's not crazy. It's not super greasy. I like that. Last but not least, the potato salad. I'm gonna use a fry because we ain't got no fork. <laughs> I'm from a runaway. I'm leaving here with something. That's a potato salad. She said it's homemade. Salad. That potato salad, potato salad. God damn, that's the best thing I've had since I've been here. I'm talking about some potato salad. I eat the potato salad by itself. You can tell it's homemade. It's real pickle for huge pieces of potato. I don't know what seasoning she used, but she said she made her own seasoning, and I believe it. This thing, pat will flavor. I can't believe I'm saying this about potato salad. It's an 8.7 out of 10, and it's just potato salad. That's not a big potato salad person at all. I think you're gonna like it. <laughs> so look, I'm not a potato salad person, and it's not bad. I would say seven. 7.5. That's hot. That's you can hot taste for somebody the, you that can don't taste like this. Each component. Mm -hmm. You smash it. I can only see your hand. Oh. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's a nine. Mm -hmm. I may not have been a huge fan of the fish sandwich, but I am of that potato salad and that chicken sandwich. And I fully understand why y'all told me to come here. And Mama T, I appreciate you. And all I got to say is after this, I pray and I hope you reach your target audience. God bless you. Have an amazing day. Y'all be safe.